Hey everybody, so before I begin, please forgive me for any background noise that you might hear uh, as there's some construction work going on outside. There may be some water blasters and so on and so forth. But yeah, I have to tell the story about my broken wrist. So on the day of the 28th of July 2023 in the afternoon, I accidentally slipped on the steps beside the city Gary Wellington and unfortunately I tried to stop the fall but unfortunately as a result it dislodged a bone in the wrist area right here and so sorry I had to get a hair off of that so after that I had to rush all the way to my accommodation with my broken hand and I had to contact my boss and said listen Unfortunately, I cannot be able to work today because I think I may have broken a bone and he said that I needed to contact the ambulance. So I called 111 and I did so and the ambulance arrived and they checked me up and they put me in an ice pack and drove my, drove myself to the hospital where I got an x-ray checkup. As you can see right here, I was at the... Um, no, it's actually here. It's actually um, here. Uh, here I was at the waiting room at the hospital, just uh, waiting for um, a checkup. So they they did an X-ray on my arm, and yeah, just as uh, uh, and yeah, the wrist bone that connects to the hand has been the has been broken off. So as a result, they wrapped me in a cast. They pulled on my hand. They injected my wrist with a with a bone strengthening serum or something and I had to be in a cast for like two weeks and I had to stay the night in hospital as you can see in over here sorry over here so yeah that it was very unfortunate and that was very terrible I had to had to have the I had, to had the cast on for like four weeks but I had to go see the doctor for a checkup in two weeks' time. And, yeah, this was the cast as a result of it. And, yeah, I was just absolutely super disappointed I was missing out on weeks of work. And, the big day arrived. I, um, after two weeks, I immediately went to a doctor's appointment and they rechecked the x-ray and unfortunately the wrist was starting to wilt again in the cast and the cast was not helping it so the doctor told me unfortunately if we want to help your wrist you we have no um, option but we're going to have to do surgery and I was just immediately filled with fear and anxiety as soon as I heard the word surgery because the like seriously I've never been I've never broken a bone in all my life before and now I have to do my very first surgery and that just absolutely put a lot of an anxiety pumping into my body this is just and then I just immediately started to calm down and I just I just thought okay I if I want to help my wrist I want to heal up this bone I have no decision but I have to do the surgery so I got given a form to write out my details with I got assigned an appointment for a surgery and um, in about like two or three days time the hospital rang me up and said listen we're all ready um, for you to come and wait for your surgery so um, you can come over right now so I rang up my dad to pick me up and we drove to the hospital and I had a name tag put on me. I had to wait in for a few hours in the waiting room. An hour, maybe it was an hour, maybe it was two hours. I don't remember. And then, the, and then one of the doctors called me in. We rechecked the form and made sure that my details were correct and that I was all right for surgery. And then I was put back in the waiting room again to see if there was a slot open for surgery. And luckily there was. The doctor came in and said, listen, it's now time for surgery. So we'll get you relaxed. We'll get you comfortable. We'll get you all ready for the big day. So they mainly put me on a chair and they gave me some pills for, for pain relief and to help me calm down and 
to quickly put me to sleep and they immediately put me in after that after I was on, on the chair I was immediately put into a stroller and then I was immediately strolled into the surgery room and the next thing that I know from the surgery room is that I was immediately back in recovery. Like it happened like it happened very fast. I did not even I didn't even notice what was going on or what was happening. It, it was just that quickly. So I, I was waking up after the surgery and I was suddenly in recovery all of a sudden. And the doctor said, "Congratulations, the surgery went well. We've managed to drill a a plate into your bone and uh, we put a new cast on you so you're gonna have to spend the night in a hospital until you're ready to recover and yeah that's what happened I had to spend the night there I was relieved that the surgery went well it was done and over with and I was just I was just absolutely just heavily relieved just it was, I mean the worst is all done and over with so after after a night in the hospital and they went to check up on me had uh, had dinner and breakfast and the day arrived when I was ready in order to go back home they gave me a prescription to get some painkillers and some and some pills and all that and yeah dad um, dropped me off home and then here we are I still have my cast on to this very day I've still got the blue, I'm not so sure if you can see it, but I've still got the, um, the blue arrow here for the surgery, so, yeah. So, in all honesty, it was a bit scary, it was a bit an anxiety heavy, but I'm just, I'm just glad that the surgery is done and over with and that this nasty fall has been unfortunate for me because I'm missing out on weeks of work and money, but don't worry about me, I'm I'm, pr I'm doing pretty good money-wise. I've got like food in the fridge and that, so I'll, I'll be fine. So um, I'm, I'm due in on the 28th for a checkup and hopefully everything goes smooth sailing from there. And yeah, thank you for all the best wishes. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Alright, bye.